Hi guys, Arthur here from Homeowner DIY. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the plumbing that I found uh, in this townhouse. Now, these people asked me if I could move this sink from here, from here, to over there where the cover is. As soon as I opened the cabinet and I saw this, I knew that we had problems. So guys, for the valves, there's no scutcheons. The trap has no vent. It comes up 90s over into a trap. So this trap is unvented. Guys, we'll take a look at how this drains. So you can see how slow it is. All right, well, you get the idea. So I noticed this, I knew we had problems. And the other thing I noticed right away was the toilet here. All right guys, this is our toilet. So our toilet is what, 12 and a half off the wall. Oh, that's on baseboard, so our 13. So the toilet here is too close to the wall. This is another indication that the plumbing has been done wrong. So we'll go down into the crawl space and then we'll see what we find. And guys, just as I was coming down to the crawl space here, I noticed this. So the valve here has no scutcheon. Again, you can't even stick your finger underneath the uh, the handle. So if you had to shut this off in an emergency, good luck to you. All right guys, this is our crawl space. So this is our toilet right here. For three inch, we need at least a quarter inch per foot. This is back grading. That is what quarter inch foot should be. Our water pipe here isn't strapped to anything. Guys, so we have Kremko here, Kremko here. There was a fitting, I believe this was originally for the sink and I think something changed. But you see down there how the gap, it goes up and then it comes up here. So guys, this is all here is back rating. This is about a 10 foot span. The beam here is the maximum distance from the toilet that we could be to have a, a vent. So this toilet is unvented. I believe this was the vent at one time. Guys, the toilet doesn't flush properly. All right guys, this is our sink. So you see how it is at least dead flat and then you see the left bubble right here that is back grating. We have no straps up on our water pipe. Alright guys so this piece is grating very nicely. We have a 90 there which you can't do on horizontal. Alright guys this is another example of back grating or sloping the wrong way. So this is our sink. It should be, this should be the high side, not the low side. So this is, you can hear the water. So we have uh, puddling water here. And this is part of the reason why the sink was draining so slowly. All right guys, so this is the main for this place. So we have four inch that comes up here. I finally figured out what they've done. So we have a four inch Y, the threaded area you see right there, that is where the cap once was, the, the clean out cap. That one right there. So what they did was they, uh, they bushed down into three inch. They put a three inch clean out. The clean out is not even actually dry, uh, it's not glued in, it's dry fit. So we now have a three inch clean out for four inch pipe, which you're not allowed to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this down, down here, and then I'm gonna uh, remove this and then redo it. The inch and a half, I'm just going to uh, cut and cap that, and then the three inch going up there for the bathroom upstairs, I'm gonna leave that. But this is uh, not to code, this is not allowed, what they've done here. All right guys, so what my plan will be is, I'm going to uh, cut this, 
the Y I'll put back in, but the branch here, we're going to turn it so it's very low. And then I'm just gonna follow the ground as far as I, I can go. And then we are going to move our way in this direction here. All of this will be fixed so it works properly. Guys, the way this is done right now, the toilet, the sink is never going to drain properly. All right, guys, so we see our, our inch and a half here. It is dead flat. It's actually, it's back reading right here. It's going up like that. We have a T right here. So the 90 to vertical, sorry, the horizontal to vertical, the 90, that's fine. This vertical to this horizontal, you can't have a T here. This has to be a Y. This is undersized for what it's picking up now. Guys, I believe this used to be the kitchen because there is water. You see the water line and then there's the, the cap at the end. So I believe the kitchen was moved at some point. For the three inch, we have a strap. Probably there's a six uh, foot space between the straps. You're only allowed uh, four feet. Also, they're using half inch strap for three inch pipe. At least nowadays, it needs to be three quarter. As you can see how badly this is stressed. Yeah. I'm surprised this hasn't broken, but at some point this will break as well. <coughs> and then you can also see how it's unsupported and how it, it bows. All right, guys, so that concludes the tour for this place, for the drainage system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the 4-inch. Uh, I'm going to put in a new 4-inch clean-out, and then I'm going to rerun the laundry, the sink, the toilet, and I'm also going to put in a pan drain for the water heater. So, guys, if you've watched my other video of my place where I do the water heater maintenance, there is no... There's no floor drain. There's no pan drain. I did put a mechanical uh, drain in for the TMP. And I had the TMP leaking at one point. So that saved me a big mess. But uh, I really do think having a drain for your pan for your water heater is a good thing to have. If your tank starts leaking and you're not around. Then you can have a massive flood. At least this way the water will have somewhere to go. Guys I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I hope this video will show you uh, a contrast between what somebody does when they're not quite sure what they're doing. And after I fix it, contrast with my work and you'll see what professional work looks like. Guys, until next time, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next project.